Taylor Ryan from KarmaLifestyles.com. So guys, today I'm going to talk about how to start a relationship. The way you start a relationship is fundamental because it determines the flow of your relationship. Gents, I'll be honest, starting a relationship will depend on the chemistry I have with you. So our first dates are significant because if I give you hints about me and what I like and I tell you my past experiences and if you are attentive enough, then you will know how to start a relationship with me. Start with you. What do you want or expect in a relationship? When you don't have your goals about a relationship set right, you will end up in any relationship. So understand your personality, sexuality and emotions before starting a relationship. I may have a different personality that doesn't complement any of your characteristics. So that relationship is doomed to fail. I shouldn't have to change you to be comfortable with you in a relationship and vice versa. Say I'm into bad boys and you're a saint, then that relationship won't work. You start a relationship with a woman that gives you a sense of satisfaction or compliments you. Build trust. Trust is one of the main pillars of a relationship. So we have a strong intuition and when we think you're hiding something, we start reserving our efforts in making the relationship work. You can't start a relationship with me while you still have some ties to your ex. It makes us jealous and that gives room for speculation. Some people get lucky and build a strong trust foundation before the relationship. However, when we start a relationship and I realise that you lied about something or you told me half truth, then I'm going to start to question you. The state of doubting creates mistrust and that may break the relationship. Have a little mystery. You have to understand that keeping secrets and being mysterious are different things in a relationship. You can open up about your past experiences as we flow down the relationship together. I want to know the good, the bad and the ugly experiences in your life. That will help us know how we live with each other. However, you should not be very obvious when you start a relationship. When I can correctly predict your every move, I'll be bored with the relationship sooner or later. So have a mystery about you that will always keep me interested in you. When you ask me out and I can't predict the events of the entire night, then I will be more eager to come. Don't be all over. I want attention and affection, but I also need to live my life. So when you neglect your life for me, and you want to spend each and every moment next to me, we may grow bored with each other. So maintain your social life that you had before me, but give me an appropriate and reasonable amount of attention. So being too available makes you learn everything about each other too fast, which may be overwhelming. So you will find some things that are very petty and annoy you. I should be excited to see your call or text. So the minute you start a relationship and you feel like you're already tired, you need to dial it down a notch. Take it slow. Relationships are like babies, they grow. However, the pace at which I grow in a relationship may not be the same as yours. So don't be in a hurry to take things to the next level while we're not on the same page or the same level that we're in. Take time and enjoy the growth of your relationship and get to know me intimately. Gents, that's all from me today, but please check out our services at KarmaLifestyles.com. And of course, if you simply like my video, then please share, comment, like and subscribe. I'm Gabriella Ryan and I will see you next time.